I came home one day and told my wife that I found this amazing job. The pay was incredible. They had three weeks vacation and free health benefits. She says, that sounds great. I said, I'm glad you think so. You start tomorrow. Truth is, Carol been going through a little bit of a rough patch, you know, with Perry going off to the army, Jerry going to college, Mary going to get married, and Blairy going to get his name changed. Carol just hadn't been the same. Oh, uh, you know, so it's uh, you know, pretty easy, pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory. You know, you come in, this is your desk. You know, this is your little workspace area. You know, got your. Uh, uh, chair right there, you know, pencils, set up however you like, put little pictures of the family and all that, you know, and, uh, you know, basically what you do is you come in, clock in, and uh, report what's happening on the baseball game down below into this microphone right here so that people can listen to the, uh, what's happening on the game uh, on the radio. Kill was always a bit of an introvert. Uh, heck, she was in the womb for 13 months. <laughs> of course, she uh, knew absolutely nothing about the game of baseball. Okay, welcome to Ballpark Stadium. Uh, we have some men on the grass down there, and a lot of them are wearing the same thing, but none of them really seem to mind that. Uh, okay, we got a man on a big pile of dirt down there, and he has something in his hand, and he's just, he's just whirled it at another man, and now they all walked away disinterested. A couple of years ago, in an effort to be a little more social, Carol had tried to put together a neighborhood book club, but uh, that ended up not really working out. And the final rule of book club. If this is your first night at book club, you have to fight. The book club idea, uh, uh, yeah, the book club is what I'm leading to more isolation. Oh, and, okay, and now our, 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 our friend on the dirt is, um, on the dirt pile, is about to throw something again at uh, the man with the stick and the squatting man and the other man who's in some sort of costume. And, oh, and the man with the stick is very proud of himself. Oh, there, oh, good for him. And there he goes, and he's going for a little jog. And there he goes, and he's now he's turning. He's going a different, oh, he's so proud of himself. Oh, well, good, I, I like that, I like to see that. And that, but nobody else seems to be very, they're, they don't, they don't, they're, not as, they're not as excited, that's too bad. But, and now he's heading back to where he originally was. Uh huh. And now people dressed like him are slapping his butt. I've been working down to the factory factory one night. Uh, we had this factory that had to be put together and shipped out by eight. I was on the conveyor belt, conveyor belt, when my buddy Bob came in. He said, hey, hey, uh, you listening to this? Yeah. It was my wife, and she was single-handedly ruining the game of baseball. I love my daughter. She was making baseball sound real dumb. I don't think she was getting in the heads of the players somehow. Oh, all right, and our, our, our little friend Dirt Man's on the dirt pile, and he doesn't like the fingers that Squatter Guy is showing him. No, he doesn't like it at all. Oh, no, and now he's getting pouty. Ooh, Dirt Man doesn't want to throw the ball. Oh, he's a little stubborn guy. Oh, he doesn't want to throw the ball at all. No, oh, no, he's a stubborn little guy. Oh, Dirt Man's a stubborn little guy. He doesn't want to throw the ball at all. Mm. No, I don't want to throw it at all. Mm, mm, no, he doesn't want to throw the ball. Oh, and he just threw it to another man. Ha, ha, ha. Take that, squatter guy. <laughs> it became impossible to listen to. The guys at the factory factory didn't even want to have the game on anymore. And then, all of a sudden, something clicked. She just got it. All right, folks, we've got ducks in the pond here as Daly gets caught looking on an Uncle Charlie that looks a little bit more like chain music to me. Menendez on deck now steps up to the dish. Menendez, a rookie with a lot of buzz coming out of the Grapefruit League, got called up to the big show about two days ago, hoping to get a meatball right down his wheelhouse to keep the runners from being stranded. Two-way, you're top of the fifth. <laughs> I've never heard anything like it. Play-by-play, color commentary, sideline interview, pregame. Post game. I hadn't seen Carol that happy uh, in a long time, ever since Blairy came home. Who knew that my sweet little Carol would become the voice of the sports generation? I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd ever have a career in sports broadcasting. You know, 
Never thought that was in my wheelhouse. Uh, although I did used to be a shock jock DJ, uh, which was very rare because at that time there weren't a lot of women in radio, or even radios for that matter. Uh, it was basically just me yelling out the window uh, at people walking by. But you know, I like this too. You know. Whatever gets me out of the house. <laughs> 